this video, I will teach you how I was able to get that handwritten title that you just saw. And I was able to achieve that using this Wacom Intuos tablet. I will link to it in the description below. So let's take a look. This tablet comes with a free program called ArtRage Lite. And the first thing we want to do is we want to change that cursor because if it's too visible, you're going to see it in the final title. So we don't want that. We want the cursor to almost be invisible. So what I do, I change it to precise and I change the opacity to, I don't know, 36, 34, whatever you can see just fine or something you can just barely see. And, and so you can see the cursor as you're writing. So the next thing is you go to the view and you change the canvas settings to black. You want the canvas to be black because we need to use a white, white colored paint. I use uh, the white paintbrush, but you can use whatever tool you want. Just make sure it's white. The next thing we want to do is we want to open up QuickTime, which comes free with Mac. And what it allows you to do is to do a screen recording. I am already recording the screen right now, so I can't show you. But what you want to do is start a new screen recording. And then QuickTime gives you the option to just select a portion of your screen. So what you want to do is select this section right here because that's where your handwriting is going to be. So we have our black background. We have a white paintbrush and we're going to hit record on that screen recording and make sure we capture this area right here. So next thing is just write your title. This program also allows you to change the settings of the paintbrush or you can use a different tool. You can change the width and the opacity. Also, you, you can go ahead and use a different color. I just use white for, for this tutorial, but um, you just have to play around with it and practice on your Wacom because it's hard at first. But once you're done, you go back uh, to the toolbar and stop the recording and you want to save it to your, to your desktop or wherever you want. Jumping on to Final Cut Pro, this is what I use. You can also use Premiere, whatever program you have. Doesn't matter. Uh, so you just transfer that footage, that screen recording, and you lay it on top of your footage. The next thing you want to do is start trimming it to the start of where you first begin writing. And then you want to position it where you think you're going to want the title. But you can always change the speed of this title. And in this case, I wrote kind of slow. So I'm going to speed it up right now. But first, I want to see how it looks. So what I do, I go to the inspector and I go to the composition and I want to change it from normal to screen. That way it magically gets rid of the uh, black background and now you're just left with uh, the nice writing uh, on top of your footage. I'm going to change the speed of the clip of the handwriting because I want it to go faster. So here I do it at 2x meaning it's going to go twice as fast but you can do a custom to make it go as fast as you want and it's kind of slow because my computer's slow so I'm going to let it render for a little bit. Now we can move the handwriting, the clip, to be where we want it to be. And this is a personal choice. So I'm just going to go through it a couple times and see where I think it would look nice. You can scale the font to make it smaller, bigger, that's up to you. So there's a lot of settings that I'm not going to go over and uh, that's a whole different topic. So just play around with it and hopefully you get what you want and it, it adds something to your next video.